Hello, hello. Welcome to the September 2018 Gaming PC Builds of the Month brought to you by NoobComputerBuild.com. Here we are with our September 2018 update for the Gaming PC Builds of the Month. We have three as per usual. We have the $1,500 build, the $1,000 build, and the $700 build. Um, so this month, uh, basically the main update is that... <clears throat> um, sorry, but uh, yeah, there's not many hardware updates per se compared to last month. But prices have gone down significantly overall for all pieces of hardware it seems that prices are finally going down uh for another month in a row but that now down to pretty much normal levels where where they should be so that includes graphics cards and and the ram and the power supplies etc cetera, etc cetera. so this is probably a really good month to buy that being said there might be some new hardware releases coming up but you know when newer graphics cards for example from nvidia might be coming out that means higher prices, low supply, so you might not be able to get your hands on them for a bit, but it does mean that the current cards are going down in price um, as we speak. So uh, without further ado, the $1,500 build this month is actually starting out at $1,400, uh, which is, you know, or sorry, less than $1,400. So the, the same hardware that we usually use for this build is priced at below $1,400 when it's usually closer to $1,500. So like I said, this month, uh, prices are have gone down quite a bit. So in the $1,500 build, generally this build is, uh, I would say it's it's capable for anyone that wants to max out those 1080p frame rates or resolutions with really high frame rates at really high settings, maxed out settings in most of all games, and even into uh, maxed out settings into 2K resolutions, and then good gameplay into 4K if you wanted to dabble in 4K. Um, but I'll give, uh, give you a suggestion. If you want to go more into 4K, there is a different graphics card I would use, but for most gamers, you'll be uh, gaming into the 1920 or 1080 into the 2560 by 1440 uh, resolution range. So this build would be for you high-end uh, hardware enthusiasts. Uh, so starting off, we have the uh, processors, the AMD Ryzen 7 2700X processor. Uh, it comes in at $324.99. With that processor, it includes the Wraith Prism RGB cooler. So you don't have to spend extra on a cooler. And it is a pretty, uh, pretty good cooler. So uh, if you want to upgrade to get and really overclock the Ryzen uh, 2700X. Uh, you could go with a liquid CPU cooler if you like, but this this seems to be doing the trick just fine. Uh, the motherboard we have here is the Gigabyte X470 uh, Auroras Ultra Gaming. It comes in at 131.58. The graphics card powering this build is a GTX 1080, uh, specifically the Gigabyte GeForce GTX 1080 WinForce. Uh, this one's coming at a, coming in at a cheaper $447 this month. Uh, which is a really good deal. Uh, the RAM we have is a total of 16 gigs. It's a 2 8 gigabyte kit of HyperX Kingston technology. Uh, sorry, technology. I was reading right from uh, right from the screen here. Sorry, HyperX Kingston uh, Fury 16 gigabyte kit, $154.99. Um, the SSD we have, or the storage we have, is this Crucial MX500 uh, for uh, 500 gigs uh, SSD, and it comes in at a shy of $100 at $99. So that's these uh, the SSDs are coming down quite significantly lately, uh, maybe because uh, people are going more for the PCIe uh, type uh, storage uh, solutions. But however, I think an SSD is as fast as you need for especially for gaming. And so uh, if you can get more storage for cheap, uh, no complaints there. Uh, power supply we have is a really uh, efficient platinum rated one, an EVGA Supernova 750P2 at $139.99. And this usually does go down a little more in price. Uh, it's fully modular uh, and a great uh, quality power supply. And the computer case we have this month, or the PC case, is the Corsair Carbide Spec 06 RGB model, uh, which is a newer model with tempered glass, coming in at $89.99. So this build uh, at the beginning of September was a total of one thousand three hundred eighty dollars, which is a, which is you know compared to previous months a steal. Uh, here's a quick little picture of the Corsair Carbide Spec 06. It's kind of a really spiffy case. I like it. So uh, yeah, for th those of you going with it, good choice. Uh, moving on, we have some upgrade suggestions for the fifteen hundred dollar build uh, slash fourteen hundred below fourteen hundred dollar build. Uh, you can upgrade the storage. Go with the Crucial MX uh, one terabyte one. Uh, at $182.74, you can get a, if you wanted, so like I said before, if you want to dabble more into 4K resolutions, uh, you can start with this Gigabyte GeForce GTX 1080 Ti uh, graphics card, $649.99. If you wanted to upgrade that CPU cooler, you can go with the liquid cooler, such as this Corsair Hydro Series uh, H100i, or if you wanted a storage upgrade or faster PCIe storage 
at uh, just shy of 500 gigs, uh, you get 139.99 uh, for that. So about 40, 40, 50 dollars more uh, than than the 500 uh, gig SSD. Now the next gaming PC build, the mid-range build, is the best $1,000 gaming PC build that we can get for September 2018. Here, uh, this build is probably more of a standard build for. Uh, casual gamers that just want to max out at 1080p and then play into 2k resolutions sometimes on high uh, settings depending on the game but uh you know medium to high settings at 2k resolutions and uh maxed out at 1080p no problem um we have a processor intel core i5 8400 at 179.99 uh the motherboard we have is the msi atx uh, uh z370a pro 109.99 uh we have the graphics card is the rx 588 gigabyte um uh, graphics card at $249.99. If you wanted to bump that up even further, you can go with a GTX 1070 if you like. Uh, so that would be great. And then the RAM we have is a Kingston HyperX Fury. This is the 8 gigabyte kit. So if you want to get more RAM, you can bump it up to the 16 gig, gig kit uh, included in the build that we just did. Uh, but this comes in at $97.99. The SSD we have is a Crucial MX500 500 gigabyte. Same one in the, as in the $1,500 build for $99.99. Power supply we have is a Supernova uh, EVGA 650p2 650 watt uh, platinum rated power supply at 121.96 and then the case we have to encapsulate all of this hardware is the Corsair Carbide uh, 275R uh, mid tower case it comes in white or black and this comes in at 79.99 so I like that case it's very uh, kind of a it has the side window and it's very minimalistic and sleek and nice and and shiny so uh, and, and it's not too complicated, which I like in a case, those simple, minimalistic type cases. Uh, upgrade suggestions. So if you have more to spend for this $1,000 build, you could go with a better CPU, such as this uh, Intel, uh, Core, Intel Core i5-8600K. So unlocked, you can uh, overclock this one, no problem, 250.91. Uh, if you want a better graphics card, like I said, go with a GTX 1070, like this EVGA GeForce GTX 1070 for $412.88. Uh, bump up that round to 16 gigs uh, to the 16 gig uh, HyperX kit for 154.99, and then if you wanted to get a liquid CPU cooler, such as if you went with this uh, Intel Core 8600K, uh, you can get uh, this liquid CPU cooler to really overclock it at 94.99. Uh, and one caveat is, if you do go with the CPU uh, upgrade, do get a you need do need to get a cooler. So uh, that is an option. Or you can get uh, an air, air stock cooler as well. Uh, but the CPU that's included with the build has an included cooler. So you don't have to worry about it there. And now for the final build of the month for September 2018. The best under $700 gaming PC build. This build is uh, for standard resolutions, 1080p uh, HD resolutions on high settings. Uh, and so if you just want to, if you think you're just going to game at 1080p or in the 1080p range, uh, this is this build is probably just enough for you, so you don't need to more than this. And but you know it's really up to you. Uh, processor we have for this build is the AMD Ryzen 5 1600. This also comes with a Wrath Spire cooler, uh, so don't need another cooler for 149.99. Uh, you could upgrade to an AMD Ryzen 5 2600, but we'll get to that in a second. The motherboard we have here is a Gigabyte GA AB350 gaming uh, board motherboard, uh, 79.99. Graphics card we have is a GTX 1060 3 gigabyte version uh, uh, for $215.04. Uh, <laughs> the RAM we have is an 8 gigabyte kit of Kingston Hyper X Fury 97.99. The SSD we have is a, a smaller 120 gigabyte uh, SSD, the Kingston Digital that you see here for $28.99. You can bump that up um, quite cheaply, um, but you can look at the other builds. But if this is this is enough storage to get you started uh, with your operating system and some games, but when you want to upgrade, it's no problem just plopping in another SSD later on if you can't afford one now. So power supply, Corsair CX Series, CX500, 500 watt power supply, $57.01. And the PC case we have here is the Masterbox 5. This is a classic, really well uh, reputable case for a while now. Uh, this comes in at $66.76. So like I said, more to spend on this build. What I would do is uh, upgrade the CPU. You can go with the newer, uh, Ryzen 5 2600 also comes with a cooler, 165.99. Uh, if upgrading to the 2600 uh, Ryzen 2600, you can get a better motherboard, uh, which I would suggest at 129.99. Uh, but you could go with the motherboard that's still included. So the other, so this, so the example I give here as the upgraded motherboard is the MSI X470 G Plus. 
Um, but you could go with the motherboard that comes with the build already, this uh, Gigabyte GA AB350, but it might need a BIOS upgrade uh, or it might not, depending on, depending on the one you get shipped. But just keep that in mind. So no problem saving on the extra motherboard if you don't if you don't need it. Uh, graphics uh, card upgraded. You can go with RX 585. Sorry, rolling my tongue. RX 588 gigabyte XFX uh, radio on that you see here. This is 249.99. If and it, if you want a storage upgrade over and above that 120 gigabyte SSD, you can go with a Samsung 860 Evo 250 gigabyte one, just for a cheap 74.99. So that does it for the three builds for September 2018. Um, if you have any questions, do visit the site at noobcomputerbuild.com. These builds are posted every single month to give you a fresh uh, look at the newest, either the newest hardware or the best uh, possible build that you can get for the cost uh, for the month. So other things that you might need, come to, come to the article and check them out. But you, you know, operating systems are not included in those builds. So you may need an operating system if you don't have one, like Windows 10. Uh, these are just free alternatives if you want to get into that and you might need other things like a wireless card But do keep those things in mind keyboard mouse monitor that kind of stuff So if you don't have that do do uh, plan to budget that in and until next month Good luck building